mixer for this. So it's it's a coffee drink. It's like a like a white Russian kind of ordeal, but uh, but a little bit different. And I don't have a mixer for it, so we're gonna just try to do one of these numbers. Hey everybody, uh, Hitch here. Um, I haven't even thought about. I just hit rec I just hit record. I haven't even thought about what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna say it. Um, I feel like my thoughts on pretty much everything we're gonna talk about are pretty raw. I'm dipping my finger in it. I wash my hands. We're we're stirring with our finger. That's what she said. Why would she say that, Davis? Um, I haven't even thought about what I'm gonna say. Um. But but like I, like I was saying, my, my thoughts are so raw on the situation. They're so real. Um, they're, they're very deep uh, feelings that I, I feel like I feel like I, I don't really have to think or, or preemptively write ideas down or, or anything like that, because this is it's been a long time coming, man. Uh, Wow. If you guys don't know, uh, this is Around the Bar. It is a a series that I do sometimes. I'm a, it looks like I'm peaking a little bit, so I'm going to put my mic down. It's a series that I, uh, I do sometimes whenever I just need to sit down by myself, rant a little bit, get some, get some ideas out, uh, get some whatever is stuck up here, and I just need to vent it out into a, a video. Uh, I, I started it way back in the day, way before Optic, um, and I, I just used uh, I used the idea of us being together at a bar, whoever you are out there, um, just chopping it up um, at a at a bar together, grabbing a drink and just having a good time. It's as if I'm at a bar, you're at a bar, at the same bar right beside me, talking, and uh, we're we're getting some drinks together. So I usually ask. What is it that you guys are drinking down in the in the comments? Uh, I just told you I'm drinking my coffee, alcoholic beverage. It's the first time I've had alcohol since I was in the uh, the hospital. Not for anything to do with alcohol stuff, but um, had a stomach ulcer, couldn't get my farts out, and my stomach hurt real bad. Worst pain I've ever felt. They said, hey, don't drink alcohol or coffee. So I was like, okay, I won't do either of those things. Haven't had a soda either, um, but today I'm having a alcoholic coffee beverage because I think I'm going to need it to get through this video. Um, <laughs> not that it's like a, Ooh, I'm going to drink because it's a coffee beverage. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm honestly, I think the reason that I'm talking so much right now is because I'm delaying the, <laughs> I'm trying to delay the actual video, uh, and everything I'm going to say. Um, I've been making jokes and in, in my stream and and on Twitter and everything like that, just like um, jokes about the fact that this is going to happen. Um, and I think I was doing that to make it easier as well. Uh, but yeah, um, Optic is no more. Um, wow. Uh, <clears throat> I think it, it's time that... Um, that the video, this video should be made, the leaving optic video. Um, I, I don't want to talk about anything that's happened. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, I've said too much. I've talked too much. Uh, I don't regret anything I've said, but it's just a lot to spill out there. And it's a lot to go. It's a lot to go through. Um, not trying to throw a pity, not trying to throw a pity party at all, but I think back to 2018 and I'm like, wow, you really did like, like you went through it. Like I went through it. And then in 2019, I told everyone that I went through it. So up to this point, you know, um, so I'm tired of talking about it. I really am. You know, the infinite thing happened, didn't work out. The immortals thing started it reminded me a lot of the infinite thing. So uh, a lot of us just didn't want to play ball. Um, and so it's time to leave. And uh, and if 
if we're leaving, <laughs> you know, all of us, then uh, then I think optic as we know it, as you guys know it, uh, has. I think that's it. Um, I think the plan for the for the name in the future is to become a uh, a Call of Duty team uh, in LA. So, best of luck to them. Um, please. Please, uh, every time I look at the logo, I get sad. Please don't make me look at the logo and get mad. <laughs> That's the only thing I ask. Um, good luck, though, to those guys. Um, sad. Uh, it's it's really it's really sad, but it is what it is. Um, it it is what it is. Optic was, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to get too sappy, but uh, I remember, I, I do remember, I remember the exact moment. My, uh, my cousin, he was like twenty something at the time, twenty late twenties, like twenty eight or something. Uh, he Xbox Live messaged his entire friend, his entire friend group, all of his friend, his whole friends list. He Xbox Live messaged them and said, "All you guys." have to go watch this dude on YouTube named Optic Predator. I think he has to be cheating, right? So literally from that day, I uh, I went straight to YouTube and I looked it up and I was watching I was watching Predator play and I was like, what the hell? Like how? How how can how can somebody how can somebody shoot like that? But you know, that it just made me a fan right then of Predator. And then from Predator, I, you know, I started seeing all these other people. I, I feel I realized Optic Predator wasn't his name. His name was just Predator and he was an Optic clan. And then there was also another clan, clan, M40A3. Those were like the two clans that people, you know, watched with with sniping. Um, then I, you know, then I found out who D-Treats was. Then I found out who Midnight was and... Uh, and Hex, and then, um, and then Blake and George, you know, Blake and George were constantly telling me we should play GBs together. So I started looking up like whether people recorded their GB matches. And then I realized that Envy had a, had a team, uh, had a GB team and they were disgusting. They were the best team in the game. And then there was fear. Um, the fear and envy had a rivalry and then, and then I was watching these GB videos and then I was watching these optic sniping videos. Cause I really like sniping as well. And, uh, D, D trees, live commentaries and midnight live commentaries. And then, and then one day, and then, and then I saw, I saw optic had like a T like they're messing around kind of, but not really. They had like some teams, but they were just kind of, I don't know. It, it was like, okay. They, they didn't really have any content out of it. And then one day, you know, I, I was it Nate shot uploaded a video on uh trailer park, modern warfare two saying he joined optic and that he was going to be on there. Um, you know, GB team. And it was like both of the worlds. I have one one world that I'm so interested in right now, which is gaming, is is Call of Duty. And then there's two separate worlds between those. I mean, in those things, you have sniping and you have sniping and content, and you have game battles, and and they fuse together. And that was it. I mean, that was I was a fan ever since then. You know, even like Nade made the video and then like wasn't on the team. And then like, and so people, he was like a content creator that played GBs and he played the snipers going hand thing with predator who was, I was a huge fan of and, and every, and then, you know, optic had their real team. And then Nade was like a content creator. And then in black ops two, Nade joined the team and everything blew up, man. Like, like I, I, I mean, I watched all the Modern warfare three tournaments, like, you know, I, I dabbled in in the the Black Ops One tournaments. I watched the Modern Warfare Two GB Live stuff. Like I, I was, that was my shit, man. That's how I became an Optic fan. I would I would literally go. We, I would go into, <laughs> I would go into high school. Blake and I had an English class together. We would we would list out our classes in Modern Warfare Two. We would literally just write them out. Blake, I, I remember Blake. We had a white sheet of paper. We were supposed to be doing something and we had, we were sitting beside each other. We got to choose our seats and which Blake and I should never, ever, ever should be sitting next to each other in class, but we were sitting next to each other and he 
Blake drew out Karachi. And I don't know if you guys played Modern Warfare 2. You should nobody should be able to draw Karachi off of memory. You shouldn't be able to. What a freak. He drew Karachi and then we went over different strats that we could do. You know, I Blake and I watched whenever Predator released his huge montage, we watched it on lunch break. We watched uh it was called Predators based off of the uh you know, the movie, the Predators movie, rawr, like the, the monster, rawr, I don't know. I never saw Predators. Anyway, but yeah, we watched that on a lunch break. I mean, I remember the at midnight, I paid midnight to be on my friends list. I paid her 1600 Microsoft points. She said she regretted it because she only did it like one time. She felt cheap for doing it. And it turns out the one person who did it is me. And I can tell the story this many years later. <laughs> But yeah, I was a nerd, man. I was I was that guy. I was I was an optic fanboy. I was a content fanboy, a GB fanboy. Like I, I loved all that shit. And um, you know, I I, I worked. I, I feel like I worked my ass off to to get to a to a position to be embraced by by the fan base that I was a part of, and and to create content that I always wanted to see. You know, I've said it a million times. I sound like a broken record by now because I've said it, <laughs> say it all the time over the past five years. But yeah, that's what, that's what I, that's why I got it. I didn't get in to be a videographer. I didn't get in to be a vlogger. I didn't get in to be a tournament organizer. <laughs> I didn't get in to be a streamer, a content creator, nothing. I just wanted, I just wanted to bring entertainment to the green wall. Because I was a part of the green wall that wanted that in, that was already I was going crazy at home just envisioning different things that that you know I would want to see as a fan and uh, and you know if 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 other people weren't going to do it why can't I do it and and so that's what that's what happened that's what we did um, I want I, I know that was a huge rant but. But yeah, here we are, man. Um, it, it it's sad. It is sad. I mean, it, it kind of. It's kind of sad because I, I, nothing like this has ever happened before. You know, like like orgs have come and gone. Even even like professional sports teams have come and gone. You know. The Oilers is the only thing that I can think of that became like the Titans, right? I think I don't. I I act like I have chat here to <laughs> to help me out, but yeah, it, it it it's as if like it's as if like Optic was Optic is Optic was so big and it meant so much more than a lot of people realize. The fan base is so large and they're so passionate and they're so crazy you guys are nuts <laughs> I mean I'm nuts too <laughs> but it, 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 it's such a passionate fan base that I, people don't people really just don't get it if I if I've learned anything over the last two years through two different umbrella companies through different people that are trying to Un, trying to work for optic and understand and learn about optic at the same time is that it's it's impossible to wrap your to wrap your brain around even even for people that I did think get it or I thought understood it they, they did it and it's because optic is such a big it was it, it was such a big thing it, it, it's it's not just an org you know like like when you're a when you're a part of optic and you're accepted into into that family especially via the fans that never goes away it never does never look at proofy you know proofy still to this day gets mad love and and a lot of that love is is based off of his time in optic same with clayster a lot of people are huge clayster fans because of his time in optic look at i mean look at nate shot like going into champs optic knew everybody that was a fan of optic everybody was in optic we knew that it was going to be the last optic tournament 
Nate Shot also knew it was his last 100 Thieves Call of Duty tournament, but he didn't make that public. They beat Optic, and he said on camera, I feel kind of bad. You know, I feel bad. I have a lot of mixed emotions about sending Optic home. Meanwhile, in his head, he knows that the team that just sent Optic home, it's their last tournament too. And he put Optic above that kind of in that situation. Like it wasn't just like, yeah, fuck everyone. Let's let's get let's win this last tournament. You know, it's it's no you know every a lot of 100 Thieves fans were Optic fans. A, a lot of people that are, are fans of people that have gone out and done other things were, are Optic fans too. Fwiz, Hutch, you know, like a ton of people. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You know, you see the love from Killa. It's like Optic fans love Killa. <laughs> and a lot of that is because of his time in the Hex videos as well. Formal as well. Formal's been on LG for a year, and people still love Formal. It's not... Once you leave Optic, once people have left Optic, once people have gotten dropped from Optic, the core of what Optic was, it'll always be a part of them. I feel like that'll all... And I mean, some people, it might not feel that way. I don't know if, I don't know if Matt Formal has that soft spot in his heart, but maybe he does. I feel like a lot of people do. I feel like Proofy... Every, every, everyone else that I named, I feel like they're always going to have that core in them. They're always going to have that little piece of their heart cut out, and that is going to be filled with, you know, I was once an Optic member, and that meant something. You see it with Mixwell. You see it with Tarek and Rush. You see it with the Gears guys, the Halo guys especially. Like, that, like they will, they're playing for other organizations. You know, you You've got them on Tox. You've got them on Cloud9 or wherever the hell all of the all of the CS guys are now. But when it, they're still tweeting about Optic Day. They're still they're still interacting with all of the Optic guys. So when when Optic is Optic's gone, Optic's dead, is it really like it's more than just a logo. It's more than just you know the green and black it it's it's kind of like a sort of like a, a a mindset and like a mentality and like a a a family if you will that that siren i don't know if you guys can hear but there's a siren outside and it's really really distracting me but it, it kind of means something more um it, more than just you know the logo i feel like i'm i feel like i'm super ranting and i'm sure i am but that's kind of the point of this um Man, so as far as like what happens now, even if we don't, you know, e even if Damon, you know, even if the Call of Duty team right now, I was going to list all of them, even if the Call of Duty team right now doesn't end up staying together, which I think they are from what I hear, I think they are. If the, if the guys in the house that I live in right now don't live in the same house in six months, it's still, you know, it, it's still going to be a part of those people, in my opinion. And and we're all going to still support each other. And we're all going to still, you know, have that, like, that's my boy. Like, that's, that's my guy. I'll help him with anything, you know, whenever he needs it. I mean, if you, if you look, because of all of this stuff that has gone down with Optic, if you look at what everyone else has done, it's kind of, like, astounding. Like, like you see what Nick's doing right now with BTH. Like, Aaron and Bose with Rich and Lonely. Uh, Will with his stocks. Um, he has an entire website that he grinds on and, and helps people with stocks. Uh, myself with TST. Hex with, with all of this. Uh, TP with his streaming. I mean, a lot, a lot of bullshit happened in 2018, and I'll and you know, I'm at a point now where I just want everybody to. I just want I I want the dust to clear, and I want everybody to just walk out of it and just 
and just succeed and and get this shit behind them and and figure out how to you know perfect their craft and and do what it is that we should have been doing this whole time um man jesus we'll take a step you guys can take a step too So yeah, no more optic. No more optic hitch. Oh, also, throughout all this, I've forgotten about, I don't know how I haven't mentioned Ashley yet. Ashley left here having one of the worst years of her life in 2018, as I think, as she said before. And she went back up to her family in Minnesota and now has a spot. I don't know what her actual p job position is in in the Minnesota Vikings. Her her biggest, her her most. She fucking loves the Vikings. <laughs> she's and uh, she's working with their Call of Duty team. Like, it's almost like, you know. I, I, I'm playing, you know, I, I'm playing video games with two. I'm playing video games with two of my best friends that I've known for 12 years. And I made a, we made a business out of it. And it's the most successful thing I've ever done in my life. Aaron and Bose. Like Aaron in general, Aaron with all the merch drops that he's done has, I've never seen him work this hard and I've never seen him be this successful. Ashley with what she has got is going to be successful as hell. I know she will. Uh, I mean, Hex with what he's doing, I, I don't think I've ever seen him like lately, especially with like the Minecraft stuff and, and the eavesdrop. Hex has, first of all, Hex has the biggest podcast in esports. I mean, if, I don't think the Courage and Age Hut show counts. <laughs> but as far as like core esports, I guess it does count. Don't don't come at me, Nate and Jack. But you guys are like really big content creators and Hex is like business level. I feel like I'm throwing myself under the bus because every all three of them just got pissed at me. But you know what I'm saying. Hex has the top here. Let's let's reset. Rewind. I'm gonna take a drink. Hex has one of the top two podcasts in esports. <laughs> and, you know, we're a lot like like to wrap back around to my original point. A lot of shitty sh a lot of shitty stuff happened in 2018. But but I feel like it it for a lot of us, for me, it may, it pissed me off to the point where. I'm like, I'm going to keep grinding and do what I want and show like show the people that thought I couldn't do it that I can and I will. I will do it. I'm, I, I will say that on record. I will not stop creating content and, and trying to push everything to the next level. I, I will not stop and there is no until because I will never stop. It, if, if it hits a, a wall where I can't go anymore, I'm going to find a way to go through it. And I'm going to do that forever. I, I, I know I am because I that's all I've done up to this point. And, you know, I feel like that's how a lot of people, that's how a lot of people feel about it. Um, maybe not the pissed off part, but I think it snapped some people in gear and, you know, and a lot of good has come from it. It might not be under the umbrella of one optic logo, but that theme and that feeling and, and that vibe that optic has always put out will always be there. If you get if you get Hex, Nade, Jack, Fwiz, and Damon 
you get all these people in a Minecraft server and they play together. What what is that? What is going to change if it's not? You know, none of those people are in Optic right now, except for Hex. What if it? What if it's not Optic Hex? What if it's not a hundred thieves nade shot? What if it's Jamba Juice nade shot? What if it's Elgato Courage? It's still going to be the same content, and it's it, it, and it's still going to be the same group of people. We're all going to still rock with each other, and 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 I think we all know that it's because we were a part of something wonderful, and just because that logo doesn't exist anymore. In, in the way that we want it to doesn't mean that anything changes especially i think 20 what i up if if this would have happened abruptly if i would have gone from 2017 to this i would have been devastated i would have been heartbroken devastated not known what to do with my life but because 2018 was so shitty and the 20, the beginning of 2019 was just acceptance of the shitty 18, I, I've, I've like accepted the fact that I've accepted and I've understood the fact that this is, this is just, this is just what was, what is supposed to happen. We don't need, in order to make good content and to make a, a passionate, you know, fan base. We don't need a logo, you know, to dance around. Now, that being said, um, things are going, you know, things are going great with, with TST. Um, TST wasn't an optic stream team. It wasn't a content, you know, a content based team under optic. I was only under optic. Uh, I think we're currently we're we're currently looking to be under a team. Um, you know the the end of the end of Black Ops Four was crazy for us. It was crazy, man. We one day, you know, we 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 played for man. We're all, we're coming up on a year. We're coming up on a year of going full time. So we probably went nine months, eight months, nine months, flirting with that. 200 viewer to 3 350 viewer mark which is which is that's not bad at all if you if you're a streamer that's those are good numbers um but it was pretty much the same numbers that I had been getting you know as an as just optic hitch um and then you know gradually stuff started happening you know we would we 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 started playing black ops 4 and it started going pretty good. Black, our blackout clips were doing pretty good. Then we played Apex, and I randomly threw their video on on OBS, and that just started a whole new wave where people could see all three of our faces. And then we went back to GBs, and we started doing crazy shit. Like the the stuff that we were hitting is is really really crazy, and it's some it's it's the way that we've always played, but. You know, now it's pop. Now it's now it's public, and and people, you know, pro players are starting to to say stuff. You know, big time YouTube creators are are starting to you know acknowledge it, and then people are starting to see like the different vibes that we have as we stream. Um, you know, everything just started really picking up s s speed. We you know we started getting five hundred viewers a stream, then seven hundred viewers a stream, and then you know towards the end of Black Ops. Black Ops 4, it was 900 to 1,300 viewers every single stream, watching us play, watching, you know, uh, hear, seeing the way that, that we stream. Because I, I, I really do think that people watch our stream because, it, because it's different. Um, it's, you know, it's nothing that other people, that nobody else is doing it. Um, and uh, and I, I think that, you know, the three of us would, would really you know, be great for an organization. And, uh, it, that's, uh, that's kind of been not only on our mind, but we've been actively, actively looking and actively talking to people and, you know, talking with Hex a lot as well. Um, cause you know, Hex always got some, got some bullshit up his sleeve. So, 
I don't know. That's, that's pretty much where we're at. I get texts every day from my mom asking, asking what the future of my career is going to be. And I ha I tell her every day, I have no idea because we're, it's a waiting game and, and it's, it's a game of, of, you know, of trying to talk to people and, and trying to get in, get in touch with, you know, organizations that we do want to be a part of and, and, uh, you know, talking to, to other organizations and seeing what their offers are. It's what, it's weird. It's a position I've never, never been in. You know, I, I worked my whole life to get into optic. I got into optic and uh, then optic fell apart. And now I got to find a new home. It's weird. Um, but, but man, it, it feels great. It, it feels great to, you know, the, the way we went from, you know, holding 1200 subs for, for nine months to, uh, or for eight months to, to now we're at like 6,000 subs, which is <laughs> outrageous 6,000 subs. And, and we, you know, we, we figured out the, the formula, which is not public. We're not going to make it public, but we figured out the formula of how to, how to split everything between the three of us. And, and it's, uh, everyone's, everyone's happy. And, uh, you know, and Blake and George are, are now becoming more comfortable and, and it just, man, it makes me happy. I, I, I'm genuinely so happy with everything that's going on in TST right now uh, with TST. And, and I, I do think that the potential is there. I feel, I feel like it's like a, a gun and it's just ready to, all the pressure's there and it's ready to pop. Um, so I don't know if that was the best way to say that, but um, so that's, that's what's been going on in my life. <laughs> as has been going on in my, ah, as has been going on in my life. I, I checked before this. I checked the, before this to see when the last time I uploaded a, an around the bar. And the last thing I talked about was Jack leaving optic and how, you know, and how it's a lot of people were saying that, that Jack used optic for, for views for, first of all, I hope Jack doesn't watch this cause I don't like bl blowing smoke up his ass too much with, with him hearing it, but uh, I, I feel like Jack doesn't get enough credit for what the fuck he's done. His, my 2018 was the worst year of my adult life. <laughs> From 19 years old until 20, almost pushing 27, 2018 was the worst year of my life. 2018 was probably the best year, <laughs> probably the best year of Jack's life. And people always say like, People say, you know, Jack, Jack, d these are the things that people say about Jack. He deserted Call of Duty. He used Optic for views. He's, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's using 100 Thieves for views. He, his career was made by Mr. Beast. His, his career was made by Call of Duty casting. His career was made by playing with Ninja. People will say like, people will say all of these things to discredit him, when that fool grinds, and understands content better than anyone like, anyone I've ever met in my life. Talk talking with him about content when when cameras are off is, it's like it, he's almost a psychopath when it comes to when it comes to that. Like it, his. He's he's checking the social blades of everyone. He's he's seeing everyone's thumbnails. He he told from what I heard, he he helped the big name YouTubers that are getting shit tons of views right now with their thumbnails and their titles and when to upload and how to edit their videos. And now those huge streamers are now big time YouTubers or they're, they're they were already good YouTubers, but their views have tripled. And, and you know, that's a direct result of, of Jack just understanding the market and, and understanding and, and being a phenomenal content creator. Jesus, he did it with he did it with Call of Duty, then he did it with Fortnite, and now he's doing it with Minecraft. Like shit. And he did it with Apex as well when it first dropped. Like his views in Apex were insane. Like that dude that dude's a freak. And he doesn't get he really I don't he really just doesn't get enough credit for for his greatness. Now, if anybody links that shit to Jack, I will find you and I will backhand you. And you will not be allowed. You will not be allowed 
to log on to the internet anymore. I will I, IP ban your computer. <clears throat> Where the fuck was I before I started sucking off Jack? Um... Hex's plan, I'm going to tell you guys Hex's plan right now. Because I know Reddit's been going crazy about it. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, no, nah, Hex, I, I'm not going to spoil anything because I know he's going through it right now with all of his shit, but when, when I tell you this guy's always on the phone, he's got business meetings, he's got CDL meetings, he's got investor meetings, he's got fucking everything meetings, everything meetings, all the time, and his little AirPods walking around, talking about stuff, and uh, so he's got a plan, if he doesn't have, if he doesn't have a full formed plan, he's got a plan in there somewhere working its way out. And, uh, you know, if, if I fit in that plan, if TST fits in that plan, then hell yeah, let's fucking run it. Uh, cause we, we, we've done it before. We can do it again. And as you know, I, I've absolutely loved my time here and, and really enjoyed, you know, everything that the hex quarter has brought and, and man streaming, streaming out of the hex quarters is so incredible. All you gotta do is watch one maniac stream and you'll see, you'll see how stressful it can be to, to stream out of, out of home, uh, out of the home that we live in. <clears throat> that little voice crack. But yeah, uh, this whole CDL thing is, is crazy too, man. With, Hundred Thieves not investing. I think Phase isn't investing. The whole the you know the object that once was is not going to be in there. It's going to be weird, man. It's going it's going to be weird. Like because a lot of I think a lot of people out there were banking on if if Optic doesn't you know if this Optic stuff doesn't work out, which it didn't end up working out, then they were going to be 100 Thieves fans. And then 100 Thieves didn't invest. So, you know, I think there's a lot of a lot of Call of Duty fans out there that are also waiting. I think every it feels like everything is just on hold right now in everybody's life. And it's frustrating, man. Oh my god, it's frustrating. It's stressful. I I I'm I get stressed out of my mind. <laughs> I get stressed out of my mind thinking about where I'm going to be living cause I, and, and, and what, what I'm going to be doing uh, as far as, you know, as far as what home I'm going to be under. Because I, I mean, I honestly don't love Dallas. I really don't. Uh, you know, I don't mind it. I I don't love it. I I I've I've been very open about wanting to get out to L.A. I showed my you know I showed my mom around L.A. and she was like, "No wonder you want to move here. It's beautiful here." We were in Santa Monica, to be fair, but like that whole area, I, I would love, man, I would love to get out there. That's what I want more than anything, really. Um, Alexis is Alexis lives in in Arizona, and you know that's an hour flight rather than a three hour flight. Where we are, you know, where we're at now. If, and I also toyed with the idea of moving back to or moving to North Carolina to be close to Blake and George, so that we could do you know IRL content. But then you know that's a four hour, four and a half hour flight from from Alexis and. And from and it's a five and a half hour flight from from LA if I wanted to collab with anybody in LA. And so it's just like, man, that's so far away. So so far away for right now. I would love to I think eventually in life I'd love to settle down in, in, in North Carolina, go back home. Cause I, I love it there so much. But right now, right now I'm in such a mentality where I feel like I feel like I'm at a, I'm at a point where I control everything of what I do. Which I, I guess is always the case, but when when I joined Optic, 
it was very much I'm focusing on vision. Vision is everything I'm doing. And then as as I was in Optic for a while, it was like everything on the Nation Channel. That's what I'm doing. And then as as things got progressively, you know, crazier, I was like, okay, so vision and and other content on the channel and sponsored deliverables, you know, and doing personal content and everything. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm in, in charge of. Then that all got freed and I was, I had so much time on my hands and, and it was really weird. I was like, I was, I was like, you know, streaming Fortnite to, you know, to, to 98 people, which is fine, but I, I just wasn't happy. And, and I was like, what, what can I, I want to be a part of something. And, and so the TST thing started and, and now, you know, now I feel like I'm in a point where, where I'm like, okay, we can do, I mean, we can do something. We really can. Um, so I just want to see, like, it, it's stressful trying to figure out what that is. Cause I, I know the ceiling is so high for what we can accomplish. Um, and I just want to get as, as close to that ceiling as possible. And I want to make the right move. I feel like regardless, this is what I told my mom when she was stressing out, regardless of whatever we do, Whatever I do going forward, I think I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work out. Does it matter any of our options? I think I think we're gonna be all right. But I just want to make the the one that makes the most sense, and um, trying to figure out what that one is. And so, and, and also like, what the hell is gonna happen with the house that we have now? You know, because that was being paid for by Infinite, then by Immortals, and now. I don't know what I, don't, I think I don't know what's happening with it now. So I don't know what or I don't know if I'm going to be in an org or what org I'm going to join. I don't know what Hex is doing exactly. I got no bits and pieces. I don't know where I'm going to be living in a couple months. And holy dude, that is it's all that is stressful, man. That, That is so stressful, but it's where we're at, and I'm glad I have this place to come to and, and sit down, and as soon as I hit start streaming, all that shit disappears. It really does, and we just focus on entertaining, and we just focus on 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 being the best um, you know, versions of streamers that we can be, and it's working, man. It's working. That's the best part. Like It, it, it makes me so happy. Cause it was, it was a long shot. People are like, yeah, yeah. I, I tweeted once Elgato took a shot on us and it's, pe and, and it's, and I couldn't thank them enough because without that, this would have never have happened. People are like, you're an optic. They didn't take a, they didn't take a chance on you. You're an optic. I'm like, I, I was a videographer. <laughs> like I was, I was the dude. I was the dude that filmed the popular guys. That's taking a chance. Like that's taking a risk. And I'm I'm telling Elgato, like, yo, I have an idea. I'm gonna grab my two high school friends that nobody knows. And we're gonna do stuff together. And you I think you should pay for it. <laughs> that would be great. And for some reason, the Elgato guys were crazy enough to say yes, and and that's the only reason any of this is happening. And you know, I'm very grateful. You know, I know I've been talking about TST a lot, but that's literally it's literally all I think about. I think about what we have done. I think about what we could do. I think about how we could increase the quality of of different things. I think about you know what we can do to to be more entertaining. You know, with the like all we're funding everything ourselves, like the whole stream packages and, and the, you know, the animations the transitions, the, the gifted sub bombs alerts and all those stuff. Like, yeah, we, that's like, we, we, I, I pay, we paid for that and we invested in it because we knew that this could be something big and it, it has been working. It really, it really has been working. Um, I don't, 
a lot of what, you know, I, side note, I think, uh, you know, we, I bought the X6, the Hex 6, it's now the Hitch 6, we're going to call it the Hitch 6 from now on, so it was my first car I've ever bought, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> Hex did give me the homie deal for the big homie deal, the homie homie deal to be fair, but I've never bought a car before. So I'm happy about that. Um, no, that would not have been, that would not have been able to happen, uh, without, you know, the, the past couple months, cause the past couple months have been really amazing. Um, we also started a new YouTube channel for, for TST, not this channel, obviously, um, it's its own channel, you know, where that's going to be a whole different growth period, um, because starting a new channel on YouTube in the gaming market, you know, is very, very difficult you know, and stream viewers don't, those don't cross over as much as people might think it does. Um, you know, really big YouTubers, there's some huge YouTubers that don't get a lot of views on stream and there's some huge streamers that don't get a lot of views on YouTube. Um, so that's going to be a growth period. If you guys don't mind checking that out, that would be really, really helpful. <clears throat> Man. Um, probably a shit ton of people that have clicked out by, by now, which is perfectly okay because this has just been a rant. But Optic was amazing, man. No matter, no matter what cool things happen in the future, which it, you know, as I said, it won't really, you know, you're, we're still going to get cool things. We're still going to get cool content. We're still going to all hang out together. No, no matter, no matter what happens, I don't know if esports will ever see anything like optic. I really don't. Cause fate, you know, the closest that the two closest that things that have ever come to it were, Hundred Thieves and and Phase and Hundred Thieves is doing amazing stuff. So so maybe they'll get it, but uh, maybe they'll get you know kind of where where Optic you know left off. But but man, if you think about those Black Ops two years and those Ghost years, if you think about IW Champs, Black Ops three tournaments, like if you think about the Man, the CSGO run and what the NA team, even the Halo tournaments, the Halo, the, the you know, the, the Halo announcement, like that stuff, man, like, I think it was, it was, it was the idea that those years were the idea, the ideas that people think about and think, man, that would be so cool if that could happen, but that would never happen. And we did, we did those things. You know, everything that happened in 6050 way prior to me, those things don't happen anymore. And those years, man, like they, they gassed this whole vehicle that is optic and is a lot of esports, a lot of, a lot of content in esports is fueled by optic or by those years. And, uh, and it was awesome to see. It was really, really awesome to see and even more awesome to be a part of. And I don't know if, I don't know if we'll ever see that again. You know, if Hex starts his own thing and the same, the, the optic guys are, are with Hex, that's going to be a great team. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to be a huge fan of that team. I might even be a part of that team. Who knows what the future holds, but, but I really don't think anything will ever be seen like optic ever again it was too good to be true man to to mix content to mix content and and call of duty like that is really really is too good to be true so it does suck man it sucks there were so many times i thought we clutched it there were so many times i thought hex clutched it but it's just, it wasn't in the cards this time. And a lot of things got in the way and a lot of people got in the way. And 
I hope, hope, I hope those people are cool with their decisions and I hope if they're not cool with it, I hope they admit that in the future. Man, blah. It's been crazy. It's been, I know I haven't been making a lot of eye contact, but my, my webcam's way the fuck up there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support over the last 100 years. <laughs> and um, hope you continue to support in the future, not only myself, but, you know, everybody. Everybody in the house, everybody that's been a part of this shit because it's been a journey and it's been one that I've been so blessed to be a part of and so blessed to experience with, with you all. And... uh We'll, we'll see what happens in the future, guys. We'll see what happens in the future. But that's going to do it. Thank you, guys. My name is Hitch. Greenwall forever. Peace, everybody. <laughs>